ancestors who taught you your skills had access to forests and what we call biological ecosystems. I don't know if you've noticed, but our forests have disappeared. So I'm wondering where you are going to find your herbs, your traditional herbs. You must tell me where you are going to find them because I don't know where you are going to find them because most of them have gone and you have lost them. It's not your fault, but there is something happening around you that you are not observant about and that is the complete deforestation that is happening across southwestern Nigeria and that is going to affect you badly and therefore you need to become advocates for the prevention of continuous deforestation and for the projects that are going to result in reforestation so that you can get your bio your bios back where you can find your traditional herbal remedies that is not going to be an easy task for you but you are a powerful voice and you can make a concerted effort to speak up and support every other organization that is trying to prevent the loss of habitat where your natural herbs and your natural traditional medicines can be found. If you cut down the forests, you know that the forests are where you can find all kinds of herbs, insects, mushrooms, roots, all kinds of therapies. But once you cut down the forest, all that will disappear. Now, in other parts of the world, like India and China, they have been very particular about saving their forests so that they can save their traditional herbal remedies. And anybody taking anti-malaria now, you will know that you are taking something called artemisin. Artemisin is a natural plant that grows in China. And the Chinese discovered, not that they have malaria in China, but they discovered that this plant is very useful for treating malaria. And they started to develop it, and thank God they developed it, because we in Africa, where we have all the malaria, we became resistant to chloroquine. In other words, chloroquine does not work anymore. And therefore, people catching malaria will die from malaria. If not for this plant that came all the way from China, we would be in big trouble today in Africa. That just shows you the importance of preserving our natural plants. Because you don't know, as these plants are becoming extinct, you are losing natural herbal therapies. So to support you, Again, the Ministry of Health is committed to providing gardens for you. So that you can start to replant some of these herbs that are disappearing. And you can protect them and maintain them. So, in the process of what is going to happen in the future, we are going to make sure you get a new building over the next two years or so. We are going to make sure that you can protect your natural habitat. I suggest that your leadership should team up with the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of the Environment to have a project somewhere in Lagos where you can replant the natural forests that used to exist in this environment.